Bible piece of Hello? Ah, Detective Williams. You're finally alone in your office. Came a smooth voice on the other end. What? Who's this? You can call me... The Game Master. <laughs> His voice was deep and creepily calm. <sighs> what do you want? What do I want? <laughs> I want to play a game, detective. A game of the mind. My stomach churned with unease. I did not like where this was going. <sighs> okay, what's the game? Oh, it's simple, really. I give you a riddle, and if you solve it, you'll save a life. There's three riddles altogether, rising in difficulty as we go. And you have ten seconds to guess the answer. I felt a cold shiver run down my spine. <clears throat> Whose life will I be saving? Ah, uh, every good game has a surprise detective, so you'll just have to wait to find out. He chuckled. So, are you ready for the first riddle? Oh, God. Okay, go ahead. I had to play along. I couldn't exactly hang up and potentially risk three people's lives. I speak without a mouth, and hear without ears. I have no body, but I come alive with the wind. What am I? Seven seconds in. A whisper, I guess. Correct! Well done, detective! You saved her first life! Woo! <laughs> okay. Are you ready for the second riddle? My hands trembled with nerves and I tried to pull them off topic. What do you want from me? From this? I want you to play the game. I clenched my jaw and braced myself. Okay. Go ahead. I can be cracked, made, told, and played. What am I? Five seconds in. A, a code? I guessed. Correct! Well done, detective. You're getting better at this. Tuh. He praised. Right! This is the final riddle, which means it has the, uh, <laughs> highest prize. H highest prize? Mm, okay, it's time for the game's surprise. Why don't you go and look out your window, detective? Uh. <laughs> Confused, I glanced out the window. I don't see anything. Mm -hmm. Take a closer look. You might see... someone. What? Who are you talking about? Then, my heart skipped a beat as I noticed a little girl skipping in the puddles in the street below. No. Oh. I whispered. Mm. I'm looking down the sight of a sniper rifle detective. Better get this last one right. Oh, and there's a time limit of 15 seconds for this one. I'm not that mean, she's gotta give the little one a chance at least. No, you leave her alone. Enough, enough of this! I screamed. The only way to save her life, detective, is to answer the riddle correctly. His voice still low and calm. Ready? 
I, I took a deep breath. Yes. I am not alive, but I can grow. I don't have lungs, but I need air. I don't have a mouth, yet water kills me. What am I? Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Time's up, detective. I... I don't know! Oh, well, that's just too bad, detective. It seems this precinct game ends with a little... bang. This precinct? I whispered. Game over. The line went dead. Not exactly riddles in the dark, but it is as entertaining. <laughs> uh, jokes aside, where were we? Ah, yes. In the dim lit gloom of Detective Williams' solitary sanctum, a telephonic intrusion heralds a disquieting encounter. A voice, sinuous and composed, addresses the detective as the Game Master propelling him into an enigmatic mental duel. The challenge of this mental duel? A trilogy of riddles, each more foreboding than the last, promising salvation for the successful solver. As the detective unravels these cerebral conundrums, a nefarious revelation surfaces. A sniper's gaze, fixed upon an innocent cherub dancing in the puddles below. The air grew thick with trepidation as the final riddle unfurls. Its answer, a matter of life or demise for the unsuspecting urchin. The line falls silent, leaving the good detective Williams entangled in the chilling embrace of an unsettling and ultimately unresolved conclusion. Personally, I prefer the <laughs> intimate touch that a scalpel or an ice pick can give me. But I cannot argue with the results. On a personal note, the few alterations to the therapy of my uh, patients in the asylum we could have a little bit of fun like this ourselves. A quaint little diversion in between my working hours. <laughs> and I know precisely with who to start.